Hey y'all, I'm Lindsay and welcome back to the Heart of Eden Homestead. This is Donovan. Say hi. hi. Okay, so today we are going to show you our recipe for um, all natural, all purpose cleaner and all natural glass cleaner. So these are our amber jars and if I am using essential oils, I prefer to use amber jars just because it keeps better in the amber. Um, we also try to stay away from plastic as much as possible, so we like the glass jars better. Um, so for, let's do, let's do the all-purpose cleaner first, okay? Okay, so for the all-purpose cleaner, it is an old Amish recipe. You are going to, we have a big jar, so we do, actually double the batch. But it is one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, and one cup of citrus peels. Um, I prefer to use orange and lemon. So the orange and lemon mixed with the vinegar makes it antibacterial and antiseptic. So it's perfect for an all-purpose cleaner. Um, <laughs> you could use lime, couldn't you? You could use lime. But um, we like the lemon-orange smell. It, it smells good. Also, um, we get oranges more. Yes, we have orange trees and lemon trees, so that works out. So what you're going to do is, I've already prepped it. You're going to take one cup of vinegar and one cup of water and put your one cup of citrus peels in a pot. Um, I actually doubled the batch, so this is two cups of water, two cups of vinegar, and two cups of citrus peels. So we have orange and lemon in here. So now we are going to... Oh. So you're going to put that in the pot and you're going to boil it. You're going to bring it to a boil. Then you're going to turn it off, put the lid on it, and let it steep overnight. So just let it sit. So that's what happened with this. Now we are going to strain it. We don't want those peels getting in there. And you can't see me. I'm behind a pot. So we're just going to strain out all the citrus peels. Now anytime our citrus is starting to go bad, we um, we prefer not to put citrus in the compost bins, or not the compost bins, but the worm composting, because they don't really like the citrus that much. So we will just use it in our cleaner. Now you want to use this fairly quickly because it is, you know, it's got food in it, but we go through a lot of cleaner so it gets used a lot all right Donovan, can you hand me the um the funnel all right there you go. stick the funnel in there and we are just gonna pour very carefully hold on they can't see me we are just gonna oh oh it's going everywhere pour slower pour slower we're making a mess today but you know it's okay that we're making a mess because it smells good and we are cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> Look, Donna, we have, we have all-purpose cleaner all over the counters. It's going to make it a breeze to clean up this lovely mess. And actually, our jar is super big. So this only filled it up about halfway, but we use a lot of the cleaner, so um, I could have probably got away with uh, quadrupling the recipe and doing four cups of vinegar, four cups of water, and four cups of citrus peel, but this will last us a little bit. So now we have all purpose cleaner all over the counter, but it's okay. So we're going to clean this up real quick, and we'll be right back with the glass cleaner recipe. I forgot to mention this. So that's all you do. It is just citrus peels, and vinegar, and water. Let it bring to a boil, put the lid on it, let it steep overnight, and just pour it into your spray bottle and you're good to go. It's an antibacterial, antiseptic, all-purpose cleaner. Straight from the Amish world. They're, they're geniuses, I swear. They're so smart. Okay, so for our glass cleaner, we've got our spoon. And this is not plastic. We do not use plasticware in this house but we don't eat with metal either. This is actually, um... Hey, I believe. 
What do you what do you call it? Uh. Wheatgrass. Wheatgrass. This is a spoon made out of wheatgrass. It is biodegradable and super strong. These have lasted us. We've had these about a year, and they're great. And they come in these little sets. Hold on. I don't see any of the forks. So they have a container, and then they have a spoon, a knife, and a fork. I think all the forks are in the dishwater. And then it has a lid. And we have eight or nine sets of these. We love these. Okay, and then we got our mixing bowl, our measuring spoon. You need a tablespoon measuring spoon and a half cup measuring cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a half a cup of vinegar. And a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. going to dump in one tablespoon of cornstarch. You want to do that? Yeah. Lighten it off. There you go. All right, put that in there. Stir it up. We may need to make two batches. And it's strong. It doesn't. It, that's the. I think the the rubbing alcohol is overpowering the vinegar right now. Whew. Smells worse than a hospital. Ugh. Smells clean, guys. Very clean. All right, that's good. We may have to make a second batch. All right, grab the spray bottle and the funnel. Where's the funnel? Okay, we may end up with a glass cleaner everywhere, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and make another batch. So again, that is half a cup of vinegar. Half a cup of rubbing alcohol. And one tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir it up. Make sure all the clumps are gone. All right, that should be good. All right, we're just going to dump that in there. our counters are getting super clean right now because we're just spilling everything. I couldn't find my little, the big measuring cup. Okay, and that is actually perfect. Two batches fill that amber spray bottle up really well. Okay. And it's that easy. <laughs> you sound like a telemarketing <laughs> advertisement. I need vinegar. <laughs> cornstarch, and then the rubbing alcohol. And rubbing alcohol. And all you need for the all-purpose cleaner is water, vinegar, and, and citrus, citrus peels. Oh, we forgot something. So, our glass cleaner, on top of all that, if you want to try to um, take away that smell, just add about 10-15 drops of essential oils. Um, my favorite is uh, lavender. That is my favorite essential oil. And I'm weird. I love the smell of tea tree oil too. And that adds additional antiseptic and antibacterial properties into it as well. And then we're just going to shake that up. And with the glass cleaner, you want to kind of give it a good shake every time you clean the glass or the mirrors. So that's our all-natural glass cleaner and our all-natural all-purpose cleaner. 
we have tons of homemade recipes that we use around here and all of them are all natural and organic and use very few ingredients because we don't like the chemicals in the house. So we're going to be going over there uh, in the next few weeks to months and I have recipes for makeup, mascara, foundation, deodorant, baby wipes. We make our own baby wipe solution. Um, what else? Toothpaste. Diaper rash cream, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. We, we do it all. So we're going to be showing you all those recipes as well in the coming months. Um, so if you like what you see and you want to continue to follow us on our journey from City Life to Self-Sufficient Homestead, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. God bless. You forgot to say bye. Bye. <laughs> this button, right?